believe we're live. Okay. All right, let me just double check. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, just double checking that you can find us uh, live. Double check. You have to do it. <laughs> uh, is live now. It says we're live. So, okay, we're going for it, Janet. All right. Boom. Welcome! So excited to have you here! Happy Mercury Retrograde to you, sister! Thank you, and to you as well. Thank you for having me! <laughs> I know everybody is so excited to have you back and to see your lovely face again. And we really uh, appreciate you coming in to share your beautiful gifts with us during this momentous time of Mercury Retrograde. What would we do without you? I don't know. I really, you know, thank you for clearing the mercury energy as far as like I was uh, talking to uh, Karen last night, who was in our dolphin trip, this, our second one. And she's like, Shannon, what's going on? And I said, oh, do you mean it, the mercury retrograde that starts tonight, <laughs> which was last night? And she's like, oh, no. Right. And I'm like, no, you got to try saying, yay, mercury retrograde. Like, this is an awesome time. So I just wanted to just give a quick um, hello to, to Mercury, uh, the god, the master of the, uh, of the gods, and to thank him for this lovely time. It occurs three times a year, and it really is a time to reflect. Now, how lucky are we that we're reflecting um, as we were talking in Women Evolving 2021, Janet's awesome group. If you're not in it yet, you need to go and sign up. It's awesome. Uh, we were reflecting uh, the power of fall equinox that just occurred a couple days ago. And Mercury is retrograde in reflection mode, which is the energy of the season of fall here in the Northern Hemisphere. And he's in Libra, which rules the season of fall. So it's a very auspicious time to uh to you know be in your awareness and finding the balance right like finding the yin finding the yang if you're feeling a little like i'm feeling this way how can you temper it to reconnect and find your center again right so you don't have to stay too long in the like ah, I, ah. <laughs> you can just go you can have the moment right because we want to validate that that has uh, wisdom and power within it but then don't stay too long because you you don't want to miss the rest of the dance which is helping you get into the um to find the middle way uh which is your center ground run your energy tune in and uh what the fastest way to get out of blah is to find the beauty so let's make an intention for mercury retrograde to have that like little, you know, angel tap, little reminder, you can use your phone, use technology in a good way to remind yourself, like, did you find beauty today? Right? And if you didn't, that's okay. You can look through your photos. And I'm sure there's tons of beauty in people's photos on their phone. Just go and reconnect to that moment that that picture came to you, or you took the picture, or you found the meme, and you're like, I got to save that because I just got to go on my Instagram page at some time. <laughs> that's what I do I find all everybody who posts pretty stuff I save the photos I'm like that will be a really good Instagram like one two three it'll give like this splash of, of joy <laughs> not only for me but hopefully for other people that happen to see it so with that being said this is definitely a, a time a three-week time of practicing your inner Tai Chi which is you know how can I experience everything that's happening without being in the duality of it, but finding the polarity, which is more of a cosmic dance. And within the saving symbols for, you'll read it on my blog post, but the saving symbols, they're really teaching us about, um, well, we have a teacher present, right? And, and Janet's a wonderful teacher and a healer, practitioner, therapist, wonderful person to have in your corner, right? In your medicine tool bag. Um, but there's a lot of teaching of opportunities available. So if you're a teacher, you know, share your wisdom. If you're a seeker, go and, and experience more wisdom. What is it you want to study? What do you want to learn more about? Like this is a great time because everything's slowed down in Mercury retrograde to uh, help you 
Uh, what is it you're seeking? Let yourself have this time to really tune in and align. So I'm like totally down with that because Tibet numerology has found me and I'm like game on Tibet numerology. Like I am so, I'm like in the front row with my notebook and my pens and pencils paying attention and looking adoringly at my teachers. <laughs> so I'm like in it to win it. Uh, it feels good, it feels aligned, feels right. So with all that said, uh, if you haven't met Janet Nixick yet, here she is. She's our wonderful resident Reiki Theta healer, Podmate Soul Sister, Dolphin, partner in crime. We've swam twice together in the, on the big island with our Hawaiian Ohana. And uh, I'm just always so happy to have you here, Janet. So thank you. Thank Delight you. us with your healing ways. <laughs> thank you, Shannon. <laughs> Dolphins making me smile like it's a deeper smile. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to, I wanted to share first of all, Mercury retrograde only happens three times a year. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yes, so sometimes we're lucky and we get a fourth, but it's normally three. It's normally three. So I wanted to share, excuse me, um, something that just happened with the technology when we're getting on um, and knowing it was mercury retrograde as well. Um, but with the technology, um, always use Zoom, couldn't get on my phone, da, 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 right? And then it's like, let me move it over the computer. All right, but it took about five, 10, ten minutes maybe uh, for the situation, as Shannon knows, and this happens quite often. Um, <laughs> Quite often, so. I'm just your Zoom buddy for that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, this has been going on for a long time, right? So, what I, what, how I, I want to just share an example of how I utilize Mercury retrograde in that in that time period. Is this Mercury retrograde helps us to slow to slow our roll down? So slow it down, and then we can get into the stillness and the in the space, it slows down. So we're present with the space of our patterns. So this is about our relationship patterns, our relationship with ourselves, our romantic relationships, relationships with anybody, um, ego patterns, identity, all of that patterns with money, right? Anything. And so um, Mercury retrograde helps us to slow, become more present in that space. So we slow down so we can actually be more present with the second by second pattern. Um, and so what I, how I chose to show up in that space was I was starting to get a little bit annoyed and frustrated as is a pattern for me, which usually then creates more of that because that's the pattern, right? I'm creating that or was, have been creating that pattern around technology getting, you know, this time with Mercury retrograde, I slowed it down. I was aware, oh, right, that's what's happening. Don't get frustrated, be present. It always gets worked out, gets figured out. Everything, the divine is always on time. I'm not late, the divine is always on time, right? And choose a different way. So for me, it was, okay, choose a different way to show up, which is choose that trust, that surrender, don't get annoyed and flustered. And then, you know, it just overflows and da 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 da, da right? And that's what happened. And I feel pretty calm right now. <laughs> I feel from an aligned place of calm. So I just wanted to share a thank you, Mercury retrograde, yeah. because it's an opportunity. The whole purpose during the retrograde is an opportunity for us to be so much more present so we can make different conscious choices in the millisecond as it's happening, right? Mm. So we can actually then choose what continues to work for us as far as our patterns and also choose what we're choosing that to do differently to be differently right in that space and so i just wanted to share because that just happened right now and that's the purpose of mercury retrograde <laughs> my my idea of the purpose of it right totally Our, the work is done like that was so yeah that was, that's the purpose of it because look at we get this opportunity three times a year to slow our roll, observe the patterns, 
find and have an opportunity to choose a new way in the moment and you shifted the energy and your smile got deeper. Um, can I add one more observation that, um, that I think would be fun for you to, to connect with? Yes. So for the audience, uh, for our community, Janet is a beautiful Virgo sun, born in the time of Virgo, right? So she embodies this wonderful, practical, grounded, you know, things can happen, you know, in, in a structured way. It's very earthy, right? Things get, get done, taken care of, researched, and good, right? So we love our Virgos. <laughs> and in that Mercury retrograde moment, of you going, okay, it's, it's a natural response for, a, especially for a Virgo to get frustrated because it's not, hey, we're supposed to, we're ordering the chaos into a structured fashion. Like it, it, it's supposed to happen this way. <laughs> so that's completely normal, right? But you did the extra step. You went out of your Virgo sun into your earth sign, which is Pisces, which is, you know, our earth sign is exactly opposite our sun sign. Oh, I'm, oh, Pisces? Yeah. So Virgo and Pisces are the yin and the yang, right? Yes. They're your opposite sign. So you are in your Virgo sun, you know, having the experience. And then you're like, hold on. I don't roll like that no more. I've, I've been there, done that. I, I recognize this. <laughs> So then you, your Virgo sun went all the way into your earth body, which is actually at, sitting at the frequency of Pisces. So you went into like, oh, hold on. I need to go. I, am I flowing? And then, of course, I had to say dolphins. And then you're like, oh, I love dolphins. Because right? she, because Janet is a dolphin. <laughs> so you were over in this space that gave you space. And your body felt it. It could help the mind that was processing what was happening. The body said, you just slow, yeah, feel it, just feel it. And you were like, boom, power. That, that cool. Oh, thank you for that. Because I was, I've just been in touch with as well, that whole thing around, God, I love order. I love, I'm not a control freak by any means. No. When it comes to certain things though, I do, I do things thoroughly like let's do this very you know intelligently methodically right uh you're a great healer <laughs> yeah right it's like okay at the same time though it can be to the extreme where i'm like i want to be more like that pisces and i you know that's in me and to you know and so and i was just saying this yesterday yesterday last night i and so Mercury retrograde. This is the perfect live example here. Mercury retrograde comes in with the technology and how Shannon, you just mapped that out, right? And it, it goes into my pattern around technology. Yeah. But it goes in my pattern around just my inner being of how I show up in life because I do desire to let go more and be in, in more of that freer Pisces energy, right? That I know is in my being, right? But just, it's really, thank you, Shannon, for pointing that out. Cause you really, really, I think you really brought us home with that example. And I want to help other people to other women, other people to open your eyes for your own patterns that all of our pa patterns are connected as well. So how we do anything is how we do everything. So the pattern with technology uh, that's okay. That also connected with this pattern of my, of being in other areas of my life. That's mercury retrograde is to slow ourselves down to, so that we're more present and we get to get into all those, even those blind spot places or those places that we're already aware of that we know we we're ready to shift, to change. Right. But it's, it's so poetic there's so much divinity in it i mean look at what just unfolded and transpired <laughs> <laughs> and you were so willing you showed up fully present and then you got this gift that really was coming from totally within you and merging with what the current moment exactly and now it'll keep unfolding yes it's going to keep unfolding and with the support of with mercury and all the other cosmic alignments and support, 
right, is going to keep unfolding into this core place of my ultimate being that's ready to, to just let go and be freer. Yes. Right. So if so with this, I'd love to now allow everybody into your quiet space. And so we're opening this up, Shannon, that was brilliant. Thank you. Brilliant. We're opening this space up now for each of you individually, all of you beautiful loves who are with us. And I'm going to put my microphone on right now. Okay, hopefully that's better. Can you, you can, okay, great. Um, and so just, if you're in a comfortable place to be able to close your eyes, please do so. And then begin by allowing in deep, spacious breath into your body and out. But in all this, we're reminding you that everything is perfectly divinely timed. Everything is of the divine. You are the divine in human form. We all are. And so everything that we've just shared, which just is being unfolded, we're allowing within each of you to receive in the highest and best ways for you, whatever the wisdom is for you, for yourself, within yourself, that you are ready for within yourself and your inner being around your patterns, around your life, around what's no longer serving you, what is serving you, what's not working, what is working, what you're ready for next now. And in inviting all that sacred energy and wisdom for you to be present with, and calling upon your highest self and your highest guides and angels and highest animal spirits. And if you allow for my highest self, our grid here in Lunar Ladies with Shannon and our favorite high love vibed intelligent beings to be working with you and your space and you can say yes out loud or within yourself and whether you're with us live or you're on the week replay receiving the energy and the information it is perfectly programmed for you and the best ways for you and anchoring your light within is dropping the light, dropping the base within. And then rooting, so your earth star chakra, your deep root, roots deep, deep, deep down into the center of earth. And allowing for that mama earth wisdom and energy to come up through your root, up through your feet, your legs, your body, and centering you within, arriving into this space within, the space of now. We're reminding you that you are safe, that you are secure within, you are protected always. We're reminding you that true security comes from within. True belonging comes from within and surrounds you. Good. Tapping on your heart and your high heart, your home, calling yourself home. Tuning into home within. We're reminding you wherever you are, your home. Allowing for all the Reiki to be spiraling through all your chakras and lines of meridians, points of light, sacred geometry that's 
spiraling and orbiting of you. And Reiki light to be moving through your psyche, your belief systems, your thought patterns, your mind, your head space. Laying your feet, grounded of the earth, allowing for the light and vitality to be spiraling through all your organs, all your trillions and trillions of cells. And deep within you, there's an inner modulator within you that naturally restores balance. So just like our, our physical health knows its natural state is to restore into balance, to healthy homeostasis. And so we're tending to the places that there may be resistance or maybe inhibiting or that that balance and we're relieving and letting go of those parts and allowing your body your physical health and your light your mind to restore balance it is that yin that yang a very libra energetic balance, order, divine order, equity, health, vitality, harmony now. And if you're a yes, then say yes. We're sending beautiful pink and green energy into your heart space and into your high heart, aqua, light blue, light yellow, white, into your high heart. And just streaming strands of light through your heart space. Allowing for the violet ray to purify your third eye. Expand your vision, activating your prefrontal cortex. And through your central nervous system, your instincts are always online. So turning the volume down and any flooding, fight, flight, freeze, fawn, survival response where it's not needed in your experience. We're evolving your relationship with your central nervous system in the highest, healthiest, right ways for you. And if you're a yes, then say yes. Allowing a deep breath in and on your exhale, letting go out, relaxing deeper out. Aligning you into your highest mind, your prefrontal brain. It's where unity consciousness is, your authentic self, your inner joy, your inner peace, your soul wealth, soul purpose. It's harmony, it's balance, it's 
equity. It's we are one. Creativity, emotional IQ, creative problem solving, intelligent communication and listening, intuition, or imagination, artistry, creativity, psychic abilities, and sparking that alignment now. And if you're a yes, then say yes. We're bringing in the properties of blue lotus flower. And this flower is a very ancient Egyptian flower. And it is all about prefrontal mind, highest self, highest heart, psychic abilities, third eye, your deepest, highest heart, euphoria. Bliss. Opening into euphoria in the body. It allows for sacred dreaming, sacred envisioning. Imagination. Love, sensuality, divine sexuality. Manifestation. Right. Being and stillness of being. Good. And so to activate this in the right ways for you, you can say yes out loud or within yourself. We're activating also the blue ray and it's this space in your innermost being. It's deep super high and it's within and it's this space of fairies and the earth of creativity of dolphins and other very high vibe creatures and beings of love of light and it's colorful there's peace there's joy there's dancing there's prancing creativity imagination purpose and of this space it's where that space your highest deepest soul space alignment aligns with your human form and the three-dimensional form here on planet earth and it's a lot of sounds and vibrations that ripple through of deep higher frequencies. And so if you're a yes in the best ways for you and say yes to aligning even deeper into that space of now. Uh, again, activating more of that euphoria, that bliss in your body, that feeling relaxed at ease after all perhaps work and inner work that you've been experiencing lately in the last couple of years, several years of purging and releasing or feeling the challenging emotions to feel or being present with yourself and your body and your life and helping to balance karma and helping to evolve your lineage forward. We're clearing with the Blu-ray in the white light and we are filling you up into your body with your highest divine light and the star that you are the light that you are the source that you are and allowing for you giving you full permission to feel good in your body to feel good of the physical form 
to feel peace in your body. Feeling easefulness and grace in your body. Feeling aligned. Ready. To be. And simply to be. And to express. To be you. And if you're a yes, then say yes. And in this space, there is beauty everywhere. And so we are welcoming in all the beauty and the charm, the heart and the soul. And all of that, that what is that to you? Just tapping on your heart, your high heart, calling you home. What is beauty to you? What is beauty? What do you see? What do you feel? What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? What do you hear? What kinds of sounds? Beauty. What do you know? It's a knowing. Knowing is a being. Now. And if you're a yes to reinforce and say yes. Feeling your feet rooted on the earth. Align with your consciousness. And we're sending all these waves of the Reiki energy, the rainbow frequency, just showering you clean as well from head to toe, rinsing you clean from the inside on out. And purifying all parts of you, all your physical matter, your organs, blood, bones, cells, tissue, ligaments, muscles, everything of your physical body, purifying, harmonizing your mind, your beautiful, beautiful, complex mind, right? your brain all the thoughts that you've been allowed to think in your lifetime, just in this lifetime. It's a lot of energy, a lot of action and motion and experience. And some perhaps not so pleasant and and perhaps pleasant. And so just accepting and honoring all of it. That's consciousness. Every thought you've ever thought. It's energy, electricity, vibration. Good, aligning you deep, high into your authentic self, your conscious mind. Now, good. And deep into your heart space, the angels are working in your heart space and softening, allowing for you to just gently just let go of sorrow and sadness and loneliness disappointment, perhaps any, any experiences or emotions that you're still holding on to, you're ready to let go of. We're allowing your highest angels to help you now and just relieving you of that now with grace.
And, and replenishing you with fresh heart energy, source energy of your heart. We're bringing in the deep emerald, the deep green, rich emerald of your heart and vibrating your heart clean and clear. Multifaceted, shiny, polished emerald, deep and rich, opulent, ancient. Good. And through that, we're also streaming soul wealth through your deep emerald, rich, ancient heart of source. Good. And abundance wealth, money Reiki streaming through. Right. Just energy at source. We're reminding you, you are the source of your own source. Source is the source of your source, always. Feeling the bottoms of your feet. And all this Reiki energy deep in your sacrum, your root, your hips, your legs, your feet, your deep root. Strong foundation, secure foundation. I trust, I trust the universe within, the universe without trust. And you are safe to let go, to relax, to ease inward even more. But allowing all that Reiki to continue to spiral through, purging, releasing anything that doesn't serve you, letting go of, punishing you with fresh vitality, fresh energy, harmonizing you within, rebalancing. And perhaps allowing yourself greater peace in the stillness, peace in your awareness and support during this time as you are of great opportunity here to see yourself and your patterns even clearer. And where there's awareness there's transformation. And we're also reminding you that it is, it can be very easy to transform. You can transform quickly at the speed of light. And especially patterns too that you may have been working with your whole life and shifting. We're, we're allowing for that extra support, that extra oomph of the speed of light, a consciousness. For you to access, you are worthy and deserving now to shift, to align, to allow that which you're ready for now. Your authentic being now, your authentic life now, if you're a yes and say yes. Reminding you, you're always supported. We're reminding you of this now. And always, wherever you are, even during times where you feel alone, we're reminding you that you are always connected and that you are always supported. Always. You can't not be. You always are. And so breathing in grace and easefulness and on your exhale, letting go, letting go out. Perhaps feeling your body, your physical body, physical vehicle, 
your precious sacred body temple. You get to move about and be in the world and experience your entire life. We're bringing joy to your physical body, your physical health, your cells, your heart for always beating, your brain for always working and thinking and allowing for the rest of your body and your life to be experienced, all your organs for their sacred purposes that the divine created. The miracle that is your body, your health, your wealth. I'm calling on grace and patience the virtue of patience, especially during these next few weeks, the virtue of patience, remembering that you are more powerful than you think, than you remember that you are, and that you are worthy and deserving of being who you are of speaking your truth, of being seen, of sharing your gifts, of allowing greater and greater wealth easefully into your life. We're reminding you that soul wealth is there is enough to go around. There's always enough to go around because that is soul wealth. It's of the infinite. And aligning you into sacred soul wealth, reinforcing your alignment now. If you're a yes, then say yes. and relieving you of any old um, shame or guilt, any of those limitations or keeping you small or in any way. And any of those blind spots around that are open during this time with the help of Mercury with grace, help illuminate any of those existing blind spots or limitations that are outdated and that you're ready now to be aligned even more fully of yourself, of your deep eye presence that you are now. And if you're a yes and say yes, Um, we're continuing to stream the pink rose quartz energy through your heart space. Um, continuing to allow fresh breath in and fresh breath exhaling out. Now allow for the sound to continue to release what you're let, ready to let go of, fill up with fresh life force, harmonize. Mm -hmm. Pulling yourself into the space of your physical form, into the physical space that's holding you and your body now. Perhaps feeling your spirit occupy your heart, your hands and your feet. You're safe, connected, you're secure. You're protected always. And we're asking all shifts and changes be made and continue to be made with grace and with ease in the right ways for you. Sealing up your force field, giving you full permission to take up even more space 
claim your space in every moment and allowing for your highest self, guides, angels, and also fellow humans to emulate and help guide and lead and show you the way, how to allow yourself to embody more of you, take up more space, speak up more, be of your truth. Now. Whenever you are ready, you can slowly move your hands and your feet. Just taking your time. Whenever you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes, but take your time. Beauty do you have there? That was a nice. Is that a crystal fork? Okay. Is that a crystal fork that you have? It is. Gorgeous. Yes, I love it. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh, Janet, thank you so much. That was so heavenly. Good. You're welcome. Mm. Heavenly to get to facilitate. So yeah we are so blessed to have you come in and uh take us to these wonderful healing places within ourselves to be able to i just love the the recalibration coming home to yourself allowing the space for change to happen and to show up you know and just to breathe into what is there and if it's a pattern like celebrate the pattern it's so great to see it because then you can change it in a moment's notice and then in the next breath right because you have that awareness you can shift it so easily it's not hard or, or demanding of a lot of work it you know it, it asks us to keep showing up you know, and allow things to change and shift and to be different. I just think that's just so beautiful. And I think the, the biggest piece around that too is the mind, is the mind, the ego, the judgments, the attachments that, that can create the biggest resistance to us shifting our patterns. So more and more, because we are entering, I feel like we already are of it. I know we're entering it, of it, the age of Aquarian energy of telepathy and mind, you know, power of our mind and alignment with our mind and our minds as our ally. Um, when we, when we get also, I, um, I just want to add one more step to that about the patterning right now, especially during this time that we're fully supported with Mercury being in retrograde is to reshift those patterns. Also remember that it's your mind that might be attached to the past. It might be attached to an old way, an old way that you used to identify with, an old way you used to be. The mind, the ego mind um, our mind is massive. Our mind is infinite. We have the divine mind. Our mind is the divine mind. It's only that's infinite. Our minds are of the divine intelligence, the divine mind, the part of our mind that is the ego mind, the judgment, the, the trying to keep us safe is just like a tiny little speck, a tiny little drop of our infinite divine mind. Right, so we're talking about aligning into our infinite, our divine mind, and then being with our little ego mind that's designed to keep us safe, and it does a really good job with doing that, and filled with judgments and all of that, right? But just we want to flip flop it because a lot of times as humans we have that little part of our mind running the show, and we think it's the infinite mind, and it 
overshadows everything and it's so robust and all of this. And actually we want to flip flop it into, because that's the truth. It's like that little ego part or judgmental part of our minds that can keep us stuck or keep us in old patterns that aren't working and serving us. is literally a tiny little drop in the bucket, right? Of that divine yeah. mind. Yeah. That's so fascinating that, because when you said in the journey, you know, our complex minds, like that just, when you phrased it like that, I used those words in that moment, it was just this realization of, it was just this powerful, yes, like our minds are complex. You know, like just that validation of the power of our minds. They are a very complex, beautiful instrument of, of the divine. And I, I just love what you are, you're teaching us, showing us that that little tiny speck of our, you know, of our, divine mind like a little tiny speck can be that powerful how powerful is the infinite mind but a little speck can do all that and exact and it's the perspective it's just a perspective shift around that mm -hmm. and an embodiment shift around that that oh it's just this little drop here right and so exactly like well what what happens when we so just shift into like oh is it the divine mind that just is leading us and is like oh that's where we become allies with our mind and then that's where we then interface with our judgment our judgmental part of our mind and that and our ego and all of that that we we you know and then we can become allies with that part of our mind and yes. right and that's the part that so i just i, I want to also just invite everyone to as you're you know being even more aware of yourself during this time and patterns and relationships just notice how much that 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 small one aspect that's a, that's one tight that's one aspect of this huge infinite mind of yours right mm -hmm. um that one aspect right if there is anything within there that is actually what is keeping you from reshifting into a new timeline, from reshifting patterns, right? That it's maybe it's not as hard as it's it's the mind, the ego that may be telling you or trying to keep you safe or trying, or you're just used to it. It's habitual. It could be a pat of like a habit. It could just be merely a habit um, that is keeping you in that old pattern. And that when you bring and shed the light of the divine mind into that part of the ego mind and attachment, right, then, and you illuminate that and you're with that part of yourself, then maybe there's that, in the, there's an opportunity there for you to liberate yourself from that. And then for you to then shift into and align into what is most authentic for you now moving forward. It takes conscious effort conscious deliberate action mm -hmm. to work with our minds and to reshift our patterns and all of that you know so i mean those are the levels that we get that we get to get to to get so acquainted with you know ourselves and our mind and all of that and our patterns right yeah. but it's all it's all within you so i just want to invite you invite you into you know into that space you know what is it perhaps that's keeping you maybe it's just your old ego that's habit it's that's keeping you from letting that be and shift into what you're ready for now that is so cool that is so cool like i feel like our patterns at this time are you know we can really see how much of a gift they are when you can discover just one like you can work with one pattern for this mercury retrograde and you are like a leaps and bounds um, I was just, re as you were sharing, you know, I was getting my own unwinding healing. And so I have this pattern that's currently, you know, in play, but it's, so I'm being awakened like early in the morning. And so I, I've been setting an intention. I want to wake up at that time and meditate. I want to meditate at this certain hour, like 4 a.m. It just, it's been like a thing. And I, but I have this pattern that says, why am I awake? I should be sleeping. What, this is not right. I need to go back to sleep. And so it, that pattern is overriding the new habit that's like super excited to wake up. 
and meditate at this 4 a.m. moment <laughs> because there's a certain constellation rising that I want to connect with. So as you were healing us and sharing and teaching and blessing us, what I realized in the space that opened up was, no, but right now you're just, your only thing to do is wake up. We're only at wake up time. We're not get up and do the, the meditating and like the whole nine yards. No, honey, we're just at wake up. You can go back to sleep, that's fine. But we want to get you in that confidence that you can be awakened at a moment when you have set the intention. And all you have to do is just open your eyes in a moment and go, oh, I bet it's 4 a.m. <sighs> you know, <laughs> right? So I just got this reassurance from my team, my spirit guides, my helpers, my, they're like, oh, Shannon, you're just supposed to wake up. Don't beat yourself up because that's the pattern. I beat myself up. I say, I failed. I can't do this. I'm not, you know, good enough. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that's the pattern. And they're like, you're really not supposed to be meditating. You're only supposed to be practicing waking up. <laughs> and I was like, wow, well, I'm doing a really good job at that. I am waking up consistently. You know, so that just what, that just made me so happy. Isn't it? And it, it breaks it down and it's, it simplifies it. And and that is what's happening. Right, right. I went from thinking I'm failing to now realizing I'm winning or, you know, I'm, I'm doing, I'm, I'm there. I'm, it's a yes. It's a good, a yay, like a celebration rather than like, oh, there you go again. Yeah. Which, which is an old pattern in other areas of your life. Oh my God, right? Because that pattern does not just show up in that moment. It just above, 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 like everywhere. <laughs> and maybe that's one of the gifts many, but in this 4 a.m. is for you to shift that old self-talk. Yes. That's that a is, that's a core central pattern, right? That is is a life changer changes everything because that's your relationship with yourself and your self-talk exactly because that self-talk that you're helping me you're shining a beautiful light on is a, is a, a version of my self-talk that i do in multiple areas of my life right right and then what happens when you have that self-talk oh i failed i did this and how then how do you feel and oh i'm gonna go back to bed and then you wake up and how does that unfold right versus oh i am doing it oh i i am doing this <laughs> i did it oh i did it, I did it. I did it. <laughs> exactly and i have been doing it it's just so cool to realize oh yeah this is the stage of your process that you're at and you're doing great yes <laughs> you just shifted that pa pattern yeah. right now by illuminating you know with your divine mind yeah into that right and yeah, you yeah. Just, you just what a different experience now just from shifting your whole perspective right now <laughs> totally totally <laughs> i can't even believe how amazing this is it's a lot of this too has to do with boundaries. So I'm always going to say boundaries. I say boundaries equal our bliss. Boundaries equal our bliss. Mm. There's always, it's always about boundaries. I'd say hundred percent of the time, or if you're confused about something or something isn't working or there, what boundary is wanting to be implemented. And so it's also repatterning and going through this process has everything to do with boundaries if you can look at it in that way we're setting parameters and guidelines and boundaries in play and then the divine and truth and honesty is present so you're setting you're, you're implementing boundaries into your awareness of as you're looking at your patterns or you're, you're implementing boundaries as you're reformulating a new pattern there's it's about boundaries interesting so just like with that, Shannon, your example of what you just shared, I would add in there with boundaries, it's your having, boundaries are self-love. Boundaries equal, they equate to self-love. I don't, I don't know if there's any other human right. action we can take that 
is more self-loving than you implement a boundary, you know, like, mm. a right, boundary, right. And so for you right there, I just want to, you know, reflect that the boundary that you implemented right there was the boundary around also your self-talk. Yes. Your thinking, your thoughts, your perspective. That was the past, your boundaries around the past that I'm sure got played out through the past, through the collective, you're throwing boundaries in there, right? Yeah. And shifting and that shifts the energy. It literally will shift the energy and your alignment. Those are boundaries, boundaries around the way we think, around we, what we feed ourselves, the way we think about ourselves, the thoughts we tell ourselves, boundaries. Mm. Um, boundaries, I think, are essential when we're repatterning. Yeah, I, wow, yeah. And I, I love the connection to the idea of boundaries as a, a form of self-love, like even a structure, you know, that can then it's almost like tilling your soil and putting nutrients in the and you can grow things from those places or those acts of love for yourself exactly and and exactly and that's how and you and it's very it's it's very creative so you know when you are repatterning and you're look and you're present with yourself and then when you put boundaries into those places you know, like you, you implement those boundaries. One example for me is I, over the last six months, I really, really honed in on my boundaries around my past. So having certain conversations around my past, I, they're boundaries, you know, it's like, if I'm in, if I need to, because it's purposeful, if it's like with certain, in a certain way, then I will. But otherwise, I'm not going there. That's the past. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to keep rehashing or talking about this, these old things that I've already worked through that are no longer in my life experience, right? Unless I need to, because I'm not going to bypass anything unless I need to. And in only certain ways that are going to be effective, right? Those are boundaries. So in and I think it, that is really important when we're repatterning because we're facing our past. Mm -hmm. we're, we're coming face to face with our past. We're present with our fat, past and we're present with our future and our now experience. And so we need parameters and we need good boundaries. And then we have that freedom. We feel safe. And Shannon, like you're saying, when you have those boundaries in place, then, then it's like, it's this, you can grow in there. There's, then there's, it's safe. There's, then you can really go in there and you can really shift it. It's a container. It's mm -hmm. the Shiva, the divine masculine structure container. Right. And then once you have the, the divine masculine container structure, then the divine feminine comes in and does her thing, which is shifts, transforms, does her whole like Shiva Shakti thing, you know? Exactly, exactly. So when it comes to your patterns, look at it around just these are some examples, a little bit about what Shannon just um, expressed and what I just shared um, around yourself around boundaries, because that I, it, it, it'll, it'll go a long way for you as far as being effective. If you look at it in that special container with those parameters. So otherwise, sometimes it can feel so overwhelming, especially those long lasting patterns that can be, you know, maybe even working so harder for decades, even to, to shift, you know, a lifetime sometimes. <laughs> exactly. Lifetimes, lineage, your DNA, the collective. It's like, okay, let's throw up some, let's throw up some boundaries here and then we can have parameters and then we can get to this effectively so that we can really move forward. You know, I, I mean, yeah. I love, I just, this is such a, uh, beautiful wisdom teaching your your off your downloading us with because can you imagine if the collective jen and i always love to talk about the collective if the collective did this boundary setting wow it's a totally different planet human species would be totally, <laughs> totally different you know totally different. yeah and you'll feel powerful You'll feel it, we call it in therapy and an internal locus of control. I don't really like the word control, but power and connection within. It's all internal. It's very solar plexus chakra. 
Mm -hmm. right? So you're going to feel, you'll feel even more in power when you implement those boundaries. And then you'll feel like, oh, you have power, like you're creating this, you have parameters, and then you can go in there and you can shift it, right? And that increases your confidence, your experience of your internal connection of power, you know, um, also a success of successfully shifting patterns and moving yourself up and through the past and getting yourself to move forward. We're out of the past. We're here now. You are so brilliant, Janet, because, well, in multiple ways, as you're sharing this, teaching us, helping us in this moment with that understanding. This Mercury retrograde, which is about looking, reflecting, right? So we can move forward, right? In a healthier way. The Mercury retrograde degree symbol is exactly that. It's, it's about how do we embody the solar plexus, which is our power, a container, and at the same time embody our heart chakra working together. Like we have the container, we set it, we feel empowered, our boundary, right? That locus of control. And then the heart chakra comes in and you know, with the divine intelligence, knows exactly what to do, right? And now they're working together to move forward. It's like, you just talk. Like, was Mercury whispering in your ears? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think all the time, right? For us. <laughs> Especially as a Virgo sun, you're ruled by Mercury gets super smart in Virgo. He has a lot of fun in Gemini, but he gets really smart and technical in Virgo. So oh, I think he was good. just like, you go, sister. Like, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully we're representing Mercury well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think he's just like, going, mm, mm, mm. oh yeah, mm. he's all three to that. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I also just, just remembering to, and with this too, we're never about bypassing anything, but what'll happen too is you'll see what's left, that what's, what's still available for you there that's relevant for you to keep processing and all of that but we want you i shannon you just perfectly just shared that the solar plex is the heart space movement forward right i keep yeah. feeling that we just want everyone to just move forward let's let's get come on like just yeah. move forward right and and what's still there that's relevant that's necessary for you to, to feel to process to be present with to be honest with in yeah. your life yeah. will be there is there it'll become yeah. more more kind of uh, available for you as well um as you keep like moving forward into that space of now we're getting lined up into that space of that space of now and then also i want to remind everyone too we've been doing this a lot a lot of us have been in these in in the groups for several years now. We have some newbies coming in, new pe new people like coming on board into mix. A lot of people like we've been together doing this for <laughs> several years, which means you've been doing it to it, right? Working, doing the work, purging, releasing, aligning, doing all of this. Right? And I just want to reflect and remind you of that. And so, it's time for the places and the parts of you that are ready now for you to align now. It's time. Yes, 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 yes. And I think too that um, you have provided us with such a powerful method or and process in which to experience, have an experience like this so that you can see a pattern, have the, go through the method, the methodology of the healing and, and how to do that with grace and empowerment so that you can move forward in alignment with, you know, we get the blessing of Mercury retrograde that's supporting you to do this. And now um, I would imagine if people were interested in working directly with you, Janet, one-to-one -one, with this process at this time or any time during the year, but especially during Mercury retrograde. Do you have like a way for us to work with you in the one or do you have an offering or anything you'd like to share? Yes. To get your help. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. I 
I love my groups. I love <laughs> my groups and I love my one-on-ones so much. So I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program that walks you through. It's a thorough, extensive program in which we, we, um, we utilize a Reiki energy, the sound healing, the theta healing therapy. I call it boot camp therapy on the spot, boot camp therapy, all of it together, coaching, psychic coaching, um, energy work. Um, and so it's a journey. It's an extensive journey. And that's for women who are, or any, any humans, uh, of any gender or non-gender <laughs> who are ready to uh, really go deep and thorough and be on this extensive journey with yourself and be in this team approach to really um, arrive. Ultimately, it's about arriving into your space of now and living your, your deepest, most soul aligned life now. And mm -hmm. so if anybody is interested, you can reach out to me. I offer free consultations where we meet and then I understand what's going on for you more. We gather more information. I can answer all your questions. We can see if we're a good fit. And then, um, and if we are, then we move forward on the journey. So there's no commitment for the consultation. So if you're feeling the call, your inner being, then reach out to me and we can, we can connect that way. So it's fun. It's, I love doing this. I love working with, with, with people um, long-term and the results are quick. It's just, in, the results are just quick because anyone who reaches out is ready, ready, ready to show up. And then the t what we get together, the, the relationship that we create together just blasts off basically. It's seriously, I talk to your clients like, whoa. And I'm in your groups too. So I get the benefit of, the, of your group work, but your one-to-one -one clients, I have you know, heard through the grapevine, how amazing and life-changing it is. And I just want to also say, like, this is a great time to do that with Janet because 2022 is a massively healing year. And if you can be ahead of the curve and do your healing now, especially during the season of fall, moving into winter, it's perfect time to be recalibrating and resetting and renewing you'll be like ready to go in 2022, like in your soul's purpose, in your self-love boundaries, your container in a really empowered place because you may be called into service at the next level to work in the collective who really needs your, your um, love, your presence, your assistance, and your gifts. So if you are feeling kind of like, I need help at this time because I know I have a lot to give to the world and to my community. Janet, Janet, Janet. Just mm. reach out and get your consultation. I, yeah, I have, I just feel that so strongly. Thank you. Yeah, I so. love it. And, and now more than ever too on the planet, it, it's also about anchoring in your internal space, inner peace, inner safety, inner security, your inner relationship with spirit, with the earth, right? That because no matter then what's going on in our external world, which is a lot that's happening and sh being shooken up, you you want to keep experiencing. You can you can experience inner peace and that security within. It's all about your relationship within, and and you feeling validated from within you instead of getting that validation externally or outside or dependent on what's going on outside in your life, right? It's all about mother earth is calling this and consciousness is calling all of us to be inward and to allow for that divinity, that consciousness within us for us, especially as women to claim our space from the inside on out and for us to rise and for us to be seen and for us to be heard and for us to be right. Yes. You know? exactly. So it is amazing what can happen in just a few months of this yeah. uh, extensive work. I love it. I love it. I've been doing it for years, years and I still geek out all the time. I'm like, every day I'm like, oh my God, I love my, I love who I get to work with. I love this work. I love yeah. seeing everyone's lives transform. Yeah. It's fun. You it's are deep, so but so creative for this 
way of being like you know like your gifts skills and talents are just so in alignment with <laughs> with this work it's just amazing i'm so happy that to see you loving it and embracing it and being it you know, so. oh thank you i love i'm just like yeah and i know you feel the same way too shannon i mean it's like ah and that's, <laughs> yeah, yeah totally if i want yeah i desire that for everyone we 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 deserve to enjoy what we do on a daily basis and we yeah. deserve to feel soul satisfaction whatever that means because it's different for all of us so yeah 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 because there's a clarion call in the in the cosmos right now to go back to the garden which the garden is living a life of fulfilled desires of what is it that lifts you up and makes you feel so excited to be living your life embodied you know in service in the ways that you are with contributing all the beauty that everyone has to offer it's just like yay garden of abundance totally garden of abundance that's right and i love when you share uh our collect our, our soul <clears throat> those are our soul uh wealth there was a, a term that you used it was just so beautiful in the moment when you're sharing i have to go back in the video <laughs> but it was i think you said soul our sacred soul wealth right and our sacred soul wealth it's in that on a t-shirt yeah. Oh, that'd be a great t-shirt. Ah. And I just want to say, I have my reading with Shannon on Thursday morning, the, my, my Tibetan numerology and power mantra. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my God. We're going to just like, uh. oh, I watched your video over the weekend to prepare. Oh, thank you. And I'm like, okay, just to, mm -hmm, we're ready, ready to go. Oh. <laughs> Right, I think it's gonna be so fun when you're when the Zoom happens, right? We're on it. It's just gonna be like, okay, like the gun goes bang, and we're just like, I've been ready. <laughs> it's having so much fun. I am ready. I cannot wait to hear your power mantra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and saying that from an embodied place of sacred soul wealth and wellness and uh, self-love boundaries and transformation and rising being so all right thank you yes thank you janet thanks for being here i hope um you know we'll talk offline but definitely i would love to have you come back because we've got major planetary activity next month with a lot of plants going direct so like when you said ready to move forward we're gonna need you back to be like, okay, let's clear the energy <laughs> so that things can move forward with ease, but we'll, we'll talk. Perfect. So, I would love to have you come back and share your- I will I will be back next month. Yay. So, all right, everyone. And if you wanna reach out to me, feel free to reach out to me. And then um, but sending each of you so much love. Thank you for being here. Yes, thank you. And thank you, Janet, for blessing us today. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye.